We've got Samson Jato on the drums. time around well, it, I'm very keen to see how they're going to work this out between us playing here and having half of the band members in London. No, you said you made some plan. Won't you save some time for me? We're going to test uh, video and audio equipment uh, and the 5G network so that we allow a remote collaboration between artists and we're going to be able to have different video and audio feeds, uh, synchronize them and create an immersive virtual and live experience. With everybody being separated in these trials, um, latency is a big issue. This is the first thing I've done where musicians are in different places in different parts of the country. Music is about timing and rhythm. Um, without that, it doesn't, it's not in sync. It changes the whole feel of the way music works. So we need to be able to do this with as little latency as possible. The effectiveness of it is, 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 hasn't caused us any issues whatsoever. So yeah, there's, if I wanted to collaborate with somebody the other side of the world, you know, we can just make it happen very, very, very simply. Similarly with mixing and mastering in the recording studios that we have here, being able to beam in producers and uh, enable artists to be able to write and record, rehearse with each other over seamless latency is a game changer in terms of the way that we currently work, which is really, really difficult. One of the things that we're leading on is the sort of creative vision for the showcase. So 5G removes distance. It makes it like you're in the same time and space, uh, whether you're separated by hundreds of miles or whether you're separated by a few hundred meters. All of that sort of immediacy of a live performance, 5G enables that and previous technology hasn't. I can see your head 